Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabriella. I make videos about self-care, astrology, fragrance, I do vlogs and basically whatever else I feel like talking about. I'm also in the middle of Vlogmas, so make sure to check that out on my channel. But I am Christmas out right now. Christmas out. I'm wearing my little vintage velvet Christmas dress and uh, red lipstick, my little vintage earrings because although there's really nowhere to go right now, I'm in the Christmas spirit. And I know some of us are rushing around for last minute gifts, so I wanted to pop on here really quick and talk about two men's fragrances that I think I haven't heard many people talking about and would be a perfect gift option for men in your life or people who wear, um, I mean, it really doesn't matter because I would wear either of these fragrances, but people who are more into the masculine smelling fragrances, um, especially because a lot of the recommendations I hear for men's fragrances are either super, super expensive and you may not want to shell out like $350 or they're things that a lot of other men wear, maybe even an ex of yours used to wear. It's just the same old, same old. So I want to throw some new stuff into the mix. It's just going to be two fragrances. So it's a quick video, but I do want to get this out before Christmas if you need some ideas for somebody in your life who might need a little unique fragrance. So both of these fragrances are actually by Michael Malul, which is the sponsor of today's video. I've made a video featuring their fragrances before and reviewing them, and I was just so impressed. They gave me their, um, their discovery kit, which had a lot of their fragrances that on their website would be in the men's section, and I fell in love. So they were kind enough to send me two full sizes of the fragrances from the Discovery Collection that I loved the most. And the one I'm going to start with is 511 Black Tie. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It's beautiful, kind of like natural, almost cardboardy packaging. Definitely looks like recycled, so I really appreciate that. I think it's, it's, it's very cool and also very admirable. Alright, so here's what the bottle looks like. Super sleek really minimal. Um, this is why I think it could work for pretty much anybody in your life, you know, regardless of their personal style or their aesthetic. It's just very, very simple and very classy. I also love the name. I think especially this time of year, we're all missing those opportunities clearly to dress up and go out and show up and show out, you know, or maybe that's just me. I'm a Leo, but I love the name black tie. I think I think it's pretty gender neutral as well. It's not a name that's like, I don't know, cowboy, man, wrangler, dude. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like black tie, a black tie event, anyone can attend a black tie event. In my last review video, I spoke about this and how to me this smelled like Christmas. It reminded me of when I was invited as a plus one to a music industry party at, I think it was the Montage in Beverly Hills. And I had never really been to Beverly Hills at that time of year. It was my first year in LA. And first of all, Beverly Hills in general is decked out. I mean, on the way there, I was just passing these beautiful mansions and it was black tie, so I was wearing a gown and I was really nervous and I walked into the hotel and there was a giant tree with ornaments and it smelled good and everybody was dressed up and there was a bar and I remember it had like, it was old and kind of moody looking and I just wanted to like sip some a hot toddy or something and and then I, I went and I followed the corridors all the way to the ballroom and in the ballroom there was another beautiful tree and it was just absolute holiday magic and that is what this fragrance reminds me of is how I felt attending that event. It smells like Christmas time to me. Now the notes in this fragrance are juniper berries, heliotrope, and musk and I really think it's the juniper berry that adds this cool, fresh, almost piney balsamy, um, or I guess you would say balsamic, uh, note. It, it smells like Christmas trees to me, but not in a fake way. And there's something cool and chilled about it. And juniper berries, if I'm not mistaken, that's how they make gin, or at least juniper smells a lot like gin to me. There's definitely something that goes hand in hand with gin and juniper berry. And for some reason, it's, it's very cooling. So it smells cool this fragrance there's almost like a snowy wintry air about it but because of the musk it's also incredibly warm it melts into the skin this is a beautiful fragrance that i would wear uh especially if i was wearing a leather jacket going out for dinner or going to take a walk in the cold night air 
going out to Beverly Hills to have some coffee and look at lights, 100%. And as far as an event, this is what I would want to smell on the person that I was at the event with, you know, just those moments where, you know, it might be a big social event and you've got a lot of people to talk to, but maybe you have a couple private moments, maybe you're caught under the mistletoe. This is what I want to smell on that person that I am there with. It is so comforting and so fresh and clean, but it's not overly athletic. It's really the perfect, elegant Christmas time scent for me. Um, you know, the only other one that I get such a wintry, lovely vibe from is Lord of Misrule from Lush. But this is a lot more, to me, this is even more Christmassy. I just keep saying Christmas tree, I know, but it, in the best way, you know? I, I always feel like, well, you would never want to smell like a Christmas tree because you'd either smell like a car freshener or you just smell like you put room spray on. But this is such a masterfully created fragrance that I really cannot get enough of this. On myself, I, and let me tell you, if you are worried, if you are a feminine energy person dating a masculine energy person, I wore this the other night when I was around someone that I'm seeing and he loved it, loved it. So don't worry about that. You're not going to turn off the person. It's, it's really quite an androgynous fragrance, leaning more, definitely more towards the masculine, the more musky, and it's just, whew, I can't get enough of it. I literally wanna wear this every day until springtime, until the snow melts in Chicago where I'm from. So that is Black Tie by Michael Malul. Highly recommend this one. And then the other one, I am not gonna open because I think I am gonna give this as a gift to the person that I am seeing right now because I tried it, where is it? So I tried the sample. Oh my God. This is incredible. This is truly incredible. So this is a lot more, well, let me just introduce it first of all. I wore this, I fell in love with it, I was dying to smell it on somebody else. So the last time the person I'm dating came over to my home, I had him try this. We were playing around with all my fragrances. I was having a ball, as you can imagine. I love when I finally get to reveal that I'm like a fragrance junkie. He wasn't judging me at all. He was having fun, it was great. Um, and he had never heard of this brand and he's like, I only have like one cologne one or two, I don't really know what I'm doing. And I'm like, okay, try this. It's Jet Black Platinum. And this is the packaging. So I really wanna keep it in this packaging so that I can wrap it and give it as a gift. But I will insert a picture of the bottle here. I've never smelled anything like this. I really never have. This is the warmest fragrance intended for a man that I have ever smelled. It is also one of the sweetest fragrances, like kind of, directed towards a man or masculine energy that I've ever smelled as well. And when I sprayed it on this person, I mean on me, this is really good. But on him, it's basically giving a gift to myself, being able to smell this on him. Um, he actually remarked over and over again through the whole night, he was like, this is so good. This is so good. Oh my God, I've never smelled so good. And I was wearing black tie and he was wearing jet black platinum. And at one point we were like snuggling on the couch and we both just go, we smell so good at the same time because, oh, it, I mean, I'm wearing a different one on each arm and I'm kind of obsessed, but I'm kind of rattling off, but that was a really cute moment. Um, let me read you the notes of jet black platinum because this fragrance is so good. And I think because he loved it so much, I think it's a great gift. Um, it, it's a gift that's gonna make him feel good, plus it gives back to me because he is gonna smell absolutely delectable anytime I see him. Plus, I feel like, you know, with these fragrances, to me, you really can't go wrong. You just can't with either of these. Um, if you want something sweeter and more warm and more skin-like, Jet Black Platinum, and then if you want something that stands out a little bit more and is a little bit more elegant, maybe and uh, is a little louder. This one screams money as well. I mean, both of them do, but this one is like, you know, black tie, this is bougie. So it really depends, but I don't think you can go wrong with either of these. But I also just think it's a good gift to give somebody that, that you've been recently dating. With fragrances like these, because they're pretty much fail safe, just gonna readjust you guys, because my, my memory card was full, so I had to change it. But 
I think fragrance is a really good middle of the line gift to give somebody if you kind of know their taste or if you have fail safe fragrances like this because it's not something so crazy that's like you get them a new computer especially if you've only you know been seeing them or whatever for a little bit and it's not something small that feels insignificant and impersonal like you know getting them candy canes or something or socks so i really also because i'm a fragrance junkie if you're watching this you probably are too i love getting people fragrance and i know it's so personal but now that i know he likes this the effect also that I saw on him while he was wearing it, like I could tell he started feeling himself. Like he started feeling good. And I was like, we like that. So Jet Black Platinum Notes are Spice, Suede, and Lavender. Okay, I think I read those notes in the first review that I did, but I forgot. I don't think I would ever naturally pick out lavender in this fragrance. And I have like a pretty good nose, but so if you have someone who's sensitive to lavender or just you don't want to get an herbally fragrance, don't be afraid of this because it doesn't smell like a lavender fragrance. But there is something so, so warm and skin-like. This, this is going to sound so weird. This smells like, this is giving me Clint Eastwood cowboy Little House on the Prairie fantasy, right? Like not where everyone's sick and dying and, and children die really young and everybody's cold and, and, and you have to get amputations and there's war going on and stuff like that. None of that. This is like in a fantasy, in a romance novel. Like your, your cowboy, your cowgirl, your cow person comes home from a long day. They take off their, their leather hat and their you know suede jacket and they've been wrapped in leather and suede all day but they've also been out in nature and so they have sort of an outdoorsy, fresh smell to them, but they've also, they're warm under all their clothes. It's their skin scent. That's what this smells like, is just, oh, just magic. It is so warm and so good. So, that's my review of both of those Michael Malul fragrances. Again, if you've got someone a little bit more bougie, someone who likes to dress up, uh, Someone who loves to go out, loves a fancy event, loves being seen. You know, they're giving you Beverly Hills energy, 5'11 black tie. And Jet Black Platinum is for, you know, your stay-at-home cozy, you know, my, my Taurus, my cancer types. Um, the guy that I'm giving this to is a Cancer Rising. Very snuggly, very cozy. So he's going to love this. But yeah. Wow, both of these are amazing. I'm definitely keeping black tie for myself and I will be giving Jet Black Platinum away. So it really depends on what you like or what your person likes. But these are two very special fragrances. I am super, super happy that Michael Malul reached out and I discovered their line because 10 out of 10, I swear, you can hold me to that. I adore both of these fragrances. Please hold me to it. Um, I'm going to link everything about Michael Mulu down below. I know that if you order by the 21st of December, they said it could possibly be there before Christmas. So get on it if you're interested. Um, thank you to Michael Mulu for sponsoring another video. Thank you so much for keeping this channel running and giving me content to make that is so fun and enjoyable. I will talk to you in my next video. Love you guys so much. Mwah! Bye guys.